Okay, so Heidi Ho, I'm going to do this as quick as I can so it won't be too long and boring, but here's the story. Um, Good Hollow Jr., my son, is in college now. He's uh, not too far away, it's about an hour by car. Yeah, so, uh, but he wanted to spread his wings a little, a little bit and and uh, we didn't want him driving back and forth in the weather. And so he's staying in the dorm, he got some scholarships to help pay for it. And, he comes back every couple of weeks and with a bag full of laundry and an empty gas tank. So um, the next time he comes, I want to make sure and get a few things in his car, in his vehicle. It's a Jeep-like vehicle. There's not much room, so uh, but he already has, uh, you know, the standard stuff: jumper cables, a few mechanics tools, and and uh, some duct tape stuff like that. Uh, I got him a folding shovel to put in there, uh, dig out, hopefully he's smart enough not to drive in a blizzard or something, but if he winds up in a snow bank, uh, he can dig out. I really want one of those, I'm going to take some flack for this, um, Chinese army shovels. Uh, I'm not sure I can afford one for a while yet, but um, it's low on the prepper dollar list. Uh, I'll put a link. They're way cool though, so um, Maggie quit it. The dogs are growling and barking and having fits today. I want to make sure there's a cookie sheet in the back of his car. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and um, yeah, it's an hour drive. I can see, I don't know, at least a half dozen uh, scenarios where you might have to bug out home on foot. And uh, maybe, maybe not, but it's worth having some insurance, right? And so uh, I figure his roommate in the dorm is his best buddy who also lives, well, this direction. So uh, they'll probably be on foot together. They're a couple of young, you know, 18, 19 year olds, so they're in good shape. And uh, I want to make sure and have a get home bag for him, them, you know. Uh, it's pretty light. I can lift it with my pinky, actually. I don't know, maybe five, seven pounds, which is, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of poor folk, so I packed it with stuff I could find. There's not a lot of Maxpedition stuff in here and that kind of thing, but then I don't want it to be. I don't want to have... Um, I want it to be nondescript. They've got to travel through the city because their college dorm is on the other side of the city where uh, they're at. It's not a big town. It's 25,000 people, I think. Uh, but they need to kind of travel uh, what you'd call gray man is the uh, term for it. Uh, nondescript, not, uh, uh, not sticking out or anything, you know. And... Uh, Maybe they'll get through that city quicker, and then they're out into farm country in between. And it might be a two or three day trip for them, but uh, I'm sure they can make it pretty quick, two young guys like that. And, uh, but I wanted to give them every chance I could on to make sure they get home. There's a couple bottles of water. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I wrote on there, just for a reminder, keep bottles for canteen. So they can reuse these bottles, and there's a lot of farm ponds and streams and things in between and stuff. So uh, in the front pocket, I got a we got this bag at an auction or something that says ResMed. I think it's a respirator came in it or something, but you know, it helps give the idea. Hey, you know this is where your first aid kit is, and I got. A whole bunch of stuff packed in here. There's some forceps and cold pack and oh, butterflies and band aids and Tylenol and uh, um, I've got stuff that I've taken out of the bottle, of course, uh, so it's lighter. And there's I don't know if you can see that potassium iodide four caps per day for radiation, that kind of thing. So I write the. Uh, dosage on the bag if I have to do that in market. Uh, there's some bigger pads and some medical tape and cough drops and 
you know, standard medical shit in there. Um, next pouch, um, uh, easier stuff to get a hold of, you know. Here's a lighter. There's a, you know, several hand warmers in here. Um, this is a emergency poncho. Here's a little thing of spam, just a little treat, you know, maybe for the road. Flashlight, you know. Um, I've got uh, a pair of leather gloves to use. Uh, here's a little cheapy uh, rescue to or uh, multi tool. Um, thing full of ball bearings. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe. Um, tell you about that later too. Uh, here's a little cheap uh, folding knife locked back. Uh, nothing special, but hey, it's what I can afford, that kind of thing. So, some uh, snare wire. Um, like I said, they're traveling through the countryside for two or three days. There's a compass. I tried to give them a halfway decent one. Um, this little deal has got a whistle on it for signal and then another little button compass and there's a little piece of ferrule rod on the side here you can take the knife and you know and then inside we bought a whole bunch of matches a while back and they're not waterproof they're not strike anywhere so I got some of them in here but then I got a piece of the box so they can strike it on and just another way to light some fire um, here's a cheap pair of binoculars, nothing fancy, but uh, um, they might help to see the trail ahead. Um, space blanket, emergency blanket, um, here's some sunscreen, um, hand sanitizer, um, Water purification tablets. This one, you, let's see, I forget which one it is. You put this one in to kill all the nasties, and this one takes the iodine taste out. Uh, gotta have that. There's a lot of, of uh, farm ponds and streams and stuff on the way. A little roll of uh, electrical tape. And that's about it for that pouch. Uh, and then uh, the big pouch. Um, I've got a map in here, okay, and I packed, I packed a note for, uh, you know, some uh, morale booster and, and a little bit of instructions. The map on the floor. I'll seal it when I'm done showing you guys. It says, uh, only open this in big SHTF emergency, and hopefully he won't open it beforehand. Um, yeah, and I'll read it to you. Hey, I hope you only open this in an emergency. Of course, you already know that I'm a certifiable nut job. If you have to make it home on foot, I hope I've helped with this bag. Be courteous to farmers you meet. Yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. They will be freaked out. Try not to look threatening. Get away from, insert the city they're going to college at. Uh, as fast as you can. Use back roads as much as possible. I suggest, insert his uh, best friend's name. Comes home, comes here first, so we can resupply him for his journey on home. Use your brains and you'll be fine. Just get home, travel fast and light, be careful, try to ask permission for fishing or sleeping in barns. We love you, Dad. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty certifiable. Okay, got to some paper for the kids. And here is a P 
penny stove kit. Um, there's a lot of videos out there on penny stoves, and I got rubbing alcohol on the stove and extra pennies and a little stand for uh, cooking stuff on. Um, and oops, sorry. That's what this is for. If you get stranded in a snow blanket and blizz blizzard, he can put this on the seat of the car, light up the penny stove, and have some warmth or maybe melt snow for water. So that's what that was for. Um, I got some rope in here. It's just a little poly rope. It's not paracord, but they're not going to be climbing any mountains between here and where they are. So uh, here's a little uh, wind-up flashlight, and it's got an AM radio, and I got a pair of earbuds for the radio uh, stuck on here with a uh, rubber band. Yeah, that's what it was. Die. Okay. Um, a little mess kit for the kids. Um, save space. I got stuff packed inside. It's got the, you know, the standard mess kit stuff. Dish, skillet, a little pot, which all can go on that penny stove. So, uh, some different tea bags in here for a little morale booster. Another lighter. So, so far we got three ways to light fire. Four. Um, if they happen to uh, get a squirrel or something, if that fried squirrel comes back on them, here's a few uh, antacids. This is a little multi-tool thing. Uh, it's got, you know, different slots and bottle opener and a little saw thing and knife plate and stuff on there. A um, couple throwaway toothbrushes in case, uh, you know, make your mouth clean, feel better. Help them travel faster if they're feeling better about them. So uh, I'm hoping the cup in here and some toothpaste for the toothbrushes. Okay. So, uh, a little baggie here with some plastic silverware, utensils, and sugar, and salt, and pepper, and barbecue sauce for that barbecue squirrel, and a little thing of peanut butter for maybe a little extra pick-me-up. Um, here's a little fishing kit, really. I got some pre-weighted hooks, and uh, a bobber, and a... Uh, a uh, spinner, and uh, the only thing I think of, there's a pencil in here with about 30 feet of fishing line wrapped around it, so break a stick off a tree, throw a worm in the water, and maybe they'll get supper, and since the pencil's in here, I included some uh, note paper in case they have to, you know, go from camp out, one finds water, one finds food, and got to leave a note for the other one or something like that. Here's that, too. Uh, Old timer knife that I did the review on, nice and sharp, and it's got got that little saw on it. Might come in handy for the kids. So, yeah, here's a, a wrist rocket. I mean, they're 18 year old kids. I can't send them away with a weapon, so it's the best thing I could do for getting them home. Um, with the ball bearings, I mean, squirrel or bunny, look at that. Um, this is, uh, I don't know, this is one of those food bar things. Uh, it's supposed to be, you know, a bunch of servings in here, and how many? Six servings, and there's 400 calories each. Uh, probably tastes like crap. But will help. This is uh, some of that fire starter block. Uh, makes great tinder, and it's uh, got you know chemical fire starter in it, so um, that'll help them to light fires. A couple of N95 masks. Don't go home without, or don't go out without them. And I can't help his buddy any on this one, but I've got uh, a lightweight jacket. I put his clothes in uh, 
in the vacuum sealer bags because it saves a lot of space in the pack and uh, keeps them dry. So a good change of dry clothing. Uh, here's a t-shirt, some underwear and socks and stuff. Okay. And a pair of jeans. So uh, that's about it. The idea is uh, for him to travel light, fast, inconspicuous and get home as quick as they can if there was, you know, a scenario where uh, they couldn't do it by car. So, um, just a little insurance for Good Hollow Jr. and the best I can do with, you know, the poor folk that I am. So, uh, I hope you get maybe an idea or two out of it. So. We'll see you later and we'll get through this.